Good morning, everyone. And this week for science, we are going to talk about our five senses, right? Before I start, does anyone know what their five senses are? I'll give you a clue. I use these two here. I use these to see. I use my nose to smell. I use my mouth to taste. And I use my hands to feel, right? So we're gonna have different activities each day. Um, some of them will be really fun, especially the tasting day. That'll probably be the best day. Um, so I have a story for us to listen to, and it's called Look, Listen, Taste, Touch, and Smell. And those cookies look really yummy. And you can feel them when you pick them up to eat cookies. You can taste them. You can smell them. You can see them. Hmm. Do you think you can hear them? I don't know if you can hear cookies, but popcorn you can hear, right? All right, so let's see what this is all about. Did I? I did. Okay, sorry. I didn't, couldn't remember if I recorded or not. Do you ever roast marshmallows? You hear the crackle of the fire. You smell the smoke. You feel the warmth because fire gives off. It's hot, so during the winter months, some people have bonfires and you can feel the warmth of the fire. You see the marshmallows turning golden brown. And finally, you can taste the yummy treat. Your five senses help you enjoy what you do. I think it's a little too warm now for bonfires though. You have five senses that, you, that tell you what is going on around you. They are hearing, sight, smell, taste, and touch. Your senses help you know if you are safe or in danger. You also use your senses for fun. Your sense of touch tells you when something is too hot like fire, right? That's also why we don't play with fire and we should always stay away from the stove and oven when mom or dad is cooking because it will hurt. Each of your senses has a special place on your body. Your ears hear, your eyes see, your nose smells, and your tongue tastes, your skin touches. Each of these places sends signals to your brain. Your brain understands these signals. It knows whether you hear music or someone talking. It knows whether you smell something good or something stinky. Getting a good night's sleep helps keep your sense sharp. Hmm. So your brain knows when something smells good or something doesn't, right? Kind of helps you know if something's hot or not. The part of your ear on the outside of your head catches the sounds around you then moves inside your head. And it says over here, earwax looks and feels gross, but it helps your ears. It catches germs and dirt before they can get inside your ear. Hmm, it's good to know. So the wax is actually helpful for your ears to keep them safe and healthy. Your ear has many other parts inside that you can't see. These parts turn noises into signals your brain can understand. The colored part of your eye is called the iris. The black hole in the center of the iris is called the pupil. The pupil lets in light for your eyes to see. Glasses can help you see better when the inside parts of your eyes don't work so well. That's why you guys need to make sure to eat your carrots. They're good for your eyes, or you'll have to wear glasses like Miss Molly. Behind your eye is an optic nerve. It takes the pictures your eye sees and sends them to the brain. Your eyes know how to focus like a camera. 
Hmm. That's interesting. It takes the pictures your eye sees and sends them to your brain. And that's how you know who your mom and dad and family members are, right? Sure, your nose helps you breathe, but it also sniffs for smells. A special place inside your nose helps tell one smell from another. Ooh, this is interesting fact. It says kids can smell more things than grown-ups. So your sense of smell is better than your parents or mine. It's probably why you guys can smell things before us. Your nose sends signals to your brain so you know when to say yum, what's in the oven. And actually, I made cookies earlier and they were delicious. <clears throat> your nose and tongue work together to help you taste. Your nose tells your brain what food smells like. Your tongue is covered with bumpy taste buds. So on your tongue, those little, little, they look little circles, those are your taste buds. And that's how you know if you like something or not. You have 10,000 taste buds. They taste what is sweet, sour, bitter, or salty. The taste buds tell your brain whether you are eating pizza or pickles. I think I'd rather have pizza though. So again, your taste buds let your brain know what you're eating, right? You touch most things with your fingers, but your skin is always touching something, your clothes, the cool air, your desk seat. Your skin tells you if something is soft or hard, fuzzy or smooth. Your skin tells you if you are hot or cold. Your skin sends messages to your brain. Like when it's cold outside, oof, and it says, hey, put on a jacket. Right, and this little fact says, your skin has three layers. The top layer makes new skin cells. This means your skin will never wear out. So again, when you feel something, it goes up to your brain and says, ooh, guys, it's cold out. We need to put on some long pants. Or like right now, it's really hot. A special doctor who takes care of your ears, nose, and throat is called an ENT. ENT stands for ear, nose, and throat. An eye doctor checks your eyes and helps you get glasses. There are doctors who take care of your skin. And if your senses have trouble talking to your brain, you go to a special call doctor called a neurologist. A skin doctor is called a dermatologist, and an eye doctor is called an ophthalmologist. It's a big one, ophthalmologist. That's the eye doctor. Keep your senses sharp. Wear earplugs around loud noises. Wear goggles or a mask for hockey and snowboarding. Wear sunglasses in bright light. Wear sunscreen and wash your skin with soap and water. Protect your senses. And it says, never ever put anything in your nose, ears, or eyes. Right? Because that's not keeping them sharp. And remember, especially right now, to wash your hands really, really good. See these people? Their senses are very busy. In this picture, Make a list of ways that you can see people using their sentence. Compare your list with a friend. So look, let's see. They're all using their sense of what? If they're eating, they must be using their sense of taste, right? And I think the dog is definitely using his sense of what do you think? Smell, right? and they're touching their food, so they're using their touch. They can see their food. The little boy is sitting on a chair, so his skin is touching the chair, okay? And they probably feel the warmth of the grill, which remember, you should never ever go near either because it's hot, right? 
which is probably why they're standing away from the group. Okay, so this week we are using our five senses. We have hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting, and touching or feeling, right? All right, so there's some activities this week to go along, and I hope you guys have fun. I wish again we were in the classroom, but I'm sure your parents will enjoy this just as much as I would enjoy it with you. I'll see you guys soon.